And welcome back. We're going to spend most of this video talking to Mr. Boilface here, and uh, if we... It's probably honestly going to take up most of the video, so you can skip a lot of this if you want, but it's some really neat background information. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, neat. There's going to be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Oh, I know of him. Why? What sort of things does he like? I, I mean, I spoke with him. Uh, I heard he was in town. I'm kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Neat. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm. Bertram? I have some serious questions for you. What do you need? I met your ghoul, Knox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Can track like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he <laughs> Um, it, given the fact that he is Scootaloo, um, you knew I did. I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through a joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. But he needed my help. I killed an Asian vampire who was stalking him. No, you helped me remove a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Pretty good actor, that Knox, huh? Well played, Bertram. Well played. Don't take it hard, Fletchling. I won't be the last elder to milk you for a favor. That is very, very true. Um, I wanted to ask about someone else. Sure. What do you think of Prince LaCroix? What am I going to say? He's the boss now. Yeah, what about that guy who decapitated my sire? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really, except LaCroix. Oh, I bet no you he knows, knows the LaCroix. Name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. That they do. All night long. Um, I wanted to ask about someone else. Sure. What about Nines Rodriguez? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Oh. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. I see. Um, about the other sects. Yeah. What can you tell me about the Anarchs? The Anarchs? Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? That's, that's pretty true. Um, I see what you're saying. What about the other sects? Yeah. What do you know about, what do you think about the Camarilla? The Camarilla works. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, then hunters sniffing around. Law and order is the kindred's friend. What's a caitiff? Caitiff are just riffraff caitiff. vampires who don't know anything about vampire society. Don't know their clan, mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. One more question about the sects. Yeah. I want to know about the Sabbat. You ask me, the Sabbat makes no sense. They couldn't care less about the masquerade, and they seem to care even less about themselves. It's like, hey, let's all spread hell on Earth so we can feel big and bad. Oops. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you about a clan. Sure. Tell me about the Bruja. They're a bunch of malcontents. Get pumped up by rousing the rabble they keep around them. Like, that's hard. Nothing breeds faster than contempt. And that's what the Bruja are all about. Jealousy and contempt. Tell me how you really feel. I want to ask about another clan. Sure. Tell me about the Gangrel. Well, they fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangrel can walk upright. They just choose not to. Interesting. I wanted to ask about another clan. Sure. Tell me about the Malkavians. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. 
there's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Like Therese Foreman? She good fun? That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. I think Therese really wanted you dead. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla has moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. Fame and power do not intrigue you. I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. <laughs> I'll leave that headache to the Ventrue. Besides, it's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. That is funny, actually. I wanted to ask you about something. Like what? More about the clans. Mm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Another clan. Mm. Tell me about the Nosferatu. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. Lucky you. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. I am the night. Are the Nosferatu part of the Camarilla? I'm loyal to the clan. Loyal to my primogen, therefore. Loyal to the Camarilla. That wasn't an enthusiastic endorsement. The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla, so they take care of us. They value our services, or uh, don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. Wanted to ask you about another clan. Sure. Another clan. <clears throat> Tell me about the Tremere. Mages. I don't have any reason to trust them. They're creepy, and I think they like it that way. But yeah, honest, yeah, I'm just I so jealous. There's a few in LA, but all in all, there's not that many of them. Wanted to ask you about another clan, sure. another clan. Uh, tell me about the Ventru. Well, they get a bad rap, if you ask me. Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. You can't, they can take you can't see what I'm doing right now, but um, I'm I'm doing the whole phantom jerk right here. I wanted to ask you about another clan. Sure. Save the best for last and also the funniest conversation. Tell me about the Toreador. <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much, but I've seen them work people like puppeteers, and that's admirable. Damn right Not it is. Not they get off their slimy asses, oh. but their talent is in use besides feeding their egos. Excuse me. An astute observation made from the safety of a rat hole. Save it, Don Juan. Your silver tongue might get tarnished looking this high. Disgusting worm. Moving on. Like what? I wanted to know about someone. Sure. Now, oh, while this scene is dead, I'm out of here. You better get back down to town. Oh, oh God. All of all of this, 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 this victory. Oh, God. My computer just... Derped all the hell right there. Um, Fraps did not like that that sentence there. Well, that was. Um, how do I get out of here? Oh, huh. Well, that was bizarre. Okay, so we're gonna go head downtown real quick, and then we'll wrap this up. I hope that was informative for you. I'm sorry that section wasn't really that funny, but there's a lot to learn from that, and it's really cool to get intro to the world of darkness. Hey, buddy. Drive. I'll tell you when the mood hits me. So we are going to go downtown, where the folks are broke. You go downtown, where your life's a joke. You go downtown, where you buy your toke. Then you go. Hang on. Wait for it. Then you go home to Skid Row. Urk! Ow. Oh boy. Well, that, um. Let's try it. Um. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. What? We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. You mean like Parcheesi fun or.
Actually, yes, I was very certain I could. You have a dumb laugh. Uh, I'm kind of using those. That's great, so do I. Ow. Okay. I say we watch a movie. But I didn't bring my poncho. Heh. <laughs> well, I guess when you've decided your head is useless, a bullet to the dome doesn't really do anything to you. One, two, three, three useless mooks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm sorry, did the bad guy just actually tell Nines Rodriguez that this isn't over? What's next? You're gonna shout, you can never catch me? I'm gonna go get my big brother, and he's gonna beat you up. <laughs> yeah, that it does. <laughs> Execution needs a little work. I love you. You look like shit. Thank you. Name's nice. I'm sorry, I just got lost in your eyes there. Thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, maybe. This ain't the birds. I'll remember that. You do that. Me. I got things to deal with. God, don't wave that gun around. Didn't you learn how to shoot? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time. Story. And the story is that you need to take your finger off the trigger when you're waving a gun around. I'll do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. That's nines. I love them. But, my god, you don't gesture wildly with a gun. Why would you do that to another person? Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're nice and safe downtown. Safe is relative, but, you know, hey. Here we go. Let us get more downtowning done. We'll save here, and then we're going to go talk to LaCroix. Oh shit, I actually really need to get some blood first. So if you don't mind me, I'm going to go get some real quick blood from this prostitute. Hey, dude. Looking for a date? That depends. How much? Mm, for a hot one like yourself, the price is 40 to shake the earth. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds perfect. I promise I regret it already. Let's go somewhere more intimate. You lead the way. Okay, let's go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That doesn't seem like an intimate place. Um, where is somewhere intimate? That this filthy dumpster looks like a good place as any. Come here, lady. Not here. It's too public. We need our privacy shivered. Okay, let's go. I This isn't too public, is it? Oh, God. I'm at the risk of frenzying here if I don't get some blood, so this might just take a second or two. Oh, God. Alright, sorry about that. I completely forgot how using hookers works in this game to get blood. Um, so, that actually did not take as long to talk to um, what's-his-face, Boilface, uh, as I thought it would, but... We're okay now, so we're not going to frenzy, probably, and we're going to go talk to... Well, look at that. Hey there, Chief. Small world, huh? Yep, after that gallery, I didn't think I'd be able to get a job guarding a room full of jack squat from the boogity man. Oh, God, but Chunk. then I get a call offer me this sweet night shift slot, and I'm back in a security game. Ah, well, uh, oh, enough boy. about my lucky break. You, uh, here to see one of the big leagues, Chief? Yeah, I'm here to see LaCroix. Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundations, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company. You are a fucking moron. Sebastian LaCroix. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Fantastic. Have a good one. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever you see types do up there. Again with the you types. Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> You say Chug. Ah, yeah, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at, at the station. Station area. Oh, wow. Hey, you kids, no skating in the park. 
Right, be seeing you, Chunk. Uh, always life affirming to check in with Chunk. So, that was quite possibly the most depressing but hilarious thing ever. Oh, so true story, the first time I played this game, I wanted to see how close I could get to LaCroix's fire, and I actually set myself on fire in his office. I was running around screaming, and, you know, he was probably just laughing and rolling his eyes, but... Hey. Hey, you. Sup? You're imposing. I'm afraid of you. Hey! There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Mm, uh, yes, that, that is. Most excellent. I had no doubt... Wow, I already don't like you. One. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. You don't count among your personnel, do you? Uh, no, none at all. That is the answer I'd like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. Not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's now. You see, it was a suicide it. mission, and I it's hoped you'd die. Said. I'm quite evil, you see. Disturbing a lack of talent within this organization as of late. Leadership, mostly. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? We're gonna smooch his butt. I'd say yes, sir. Excellent. You by chance in the military at all? The military? I was an officer myself, actually. Napoleon's ranks. And yet your They're accent is British. Rumor spreading around the Kidri community concerning the Elizabeth Dane. The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Uh, no, I haven't. What about it? The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. Dun, the dun, police dun. Those Ferrats who have little information on what's been found... None that are willing to tell me, anyway. I believe the report said, Go fuck yourself. transporting an object called the Ancoran Sarcophagus. Da-da-da! I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture. I'm more to make it based on rage and blind fury. More importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the game were not... Are you staring at my junk? ...and in no way relate to this Ancoran Sarcophagus. What do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. I sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the uncarved sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation to find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, Take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else we'll carry. And lastly, get me a coffee. These police aware of our existence, so be careful what you have in front of you. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Yes, Dad. Yes. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that correctness and charm of his brashly about it. Well, that just puts what the exactly stick further up. Uh, he asked me to visit him at the last round. I see. Then, you should go humor the by the numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. You seem a little stiff. Is that... That, that, wow, that's probably the biggest of sticks up his ass right now. Probably the whole goddamn, you know, uppity tree. I'll go see him right away. Give the Anarch community my regards. And by which I mean spit in their face. Okay. I'll leave you two lovebirds be. Ooh. I really want that letter opener, but I suppose I can't have it, can I? Oh, I can't jump over the candlestick and set myself on fire. Disappointing. Alright, so now that's actually taken up the time I want to take for this video. When we get back, we're going to go explore downtown and have a little fun. And I'll see you later. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye. Uh,